Hello everyone, Dark Kirby 14 here. And welcome to more Klonoa Empire of Dreams. Well, here we are. Finally, the end of this game. Ah, finally, but it Um it went to, uh, um Um so So it's kinda like a like so yeah, all the clues lead you back here to um Julius who is Well let's just say not himself. How about that? Um, right. So, that, that's him right there. Okay, so... Defeat this boss is... Kinda easy. Um, so, like, like I said... I don't know, I think I've said this before, but... Every boss in this game is pretty straightforward. Each one has what you gotta do. So, yeah, so that's what you gotta do. It's very easy. Very straightforward. That part is anyway. This part, Julius will change his attacks each time here and there. You don't have to hit Julius. You gotta hit the center thing, cause the center thing is kind of the core of everything. Nope. You can get out of here. <laughs> you can get out of here as well. And so can you. So yeah, basically, that there, there, there's nothing much to it. I mean, you just, that's. It. He has this attack too. Which sometimes he'll do it all at once, or he'll do it all like he'll alternate it. He won't do the ring attack yet. Know that. Um. And you've got to bounce it back at him. I went and grabbed the hard thing, so that's why this is gonna take a little longer. So he'll do. Ah, oh, that was a waste of time. <laughs> well, I'm not relying on di dying, so that's good. And you gotta redirect. Like I said, you before you gotta redirect it toward that thing. And so this, this boss is pretty straightforward. So yeah, there's a, there's, there's nothing like. No, nothing to this boss. So yeah. Then no, no, that thing will go away. But I think you, you think I think anyone with a half a brain was able to figure out that Julius wasn't the real culprit. Um. So. Yeah, he he left the clue like the mist, the moons. Um. Um. Ah, uh, so, as you probably should have figured, it was him. Um. Yeah, so this the guy. Um. Huh. Yeah. So. So he's the monster. Okay. So. Oh, uh, this this boss is this boss is not easy. This boss is a prick. Like. And again, it's straightforward. It's not straight, straightforwardly an ass. You gotta make it face change color to what you need. Then you gotta hit that thing. Alright, so. There, yeah, so it's gonna like, ultimately do things like that. I'll send those out though. It kind of mimics parts of other bosses. This is kind of the part that you saw on the, um... What you call it, boss? The, um... Geobob boss where the, um... Monster came from up above the ground, so... This one's based on every basically every boss you fought thus far. Which, I think they kind of bring the game history, which is a good thing, you know? You bring all the mechanics together. I'll save that just in case we need it. So, okay, so this was the last boss. This was in a, what you call it? Uh, Santal. It was the Dr. Medin boss. Oh, oh okay. I, I was like, oh, no, I'm gonna get hit, but it went right above me, apparently. So, yeah. This boss can be kind of hard, though. Go oh, okay. Oh wow, That's, this is really it. Okay, I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that. 
That's it. That's the end of the game. That's the last boss. That's it. That that's it. But that's it right there. Um. So. Uh. So. Um. Huh. So. Um. Yeah. So basically, the whole thing was that. Bagu manipulated. Uh. Um. And so he wasn't allowed to dream. So Bagu kind of took advantage of that weakness. So. That that's not that's what led to all this trouble. Um. So. Um. Huh. So yeah, I think he he knows now what his purpose is now. So yeah. So yeah, he can't reach out. Um. So in case you haven't discovered it yet, like Klonoa only resides in the dream world apparently. Like he goes from like place to place. That's what that's all I've been able to make out thus far of this is that that's what he does. And that that that's kind of the extent of what he does as a like as a being. Like that that's that's what his existence is. Is to make sure that other like the like the whole nightmare realm is completely kept in order. Like um so so yeah, I was gonna say this, this game basically yeah you can see all the people right there. Uh Muzika uh the Chef Churin Chipple and um Dr. Madden. Um So this guy So basically this is gonna confirm that Klonoa is a is in a dream. Well he's in the dream world, I should say. Which is kind of bizarre. But it does make for uh, like a like, like a solid character like I like the fact they made it. it <laughs> Namco, I think, has underutilized. Like, and I've said this before about certain game franchises, they underutilize certain characters like big time. It's like there's so much potential, but and they're not utilized enough. And I do think that's an outright shame. Now they aren't used enough. I feel like like, like if you made a new Klonoa game, um, it would probably be pretty good. But, and I think that's something that they should consider is making another game for him. I'm surprised they didn't at least try to get him into Super Smash Brothers. He was kind of known, but not really all that much known. Klonoa is one of the hidden gems of game. Yeah, and Klonoa is like, 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 he's really one of those hidden gems of gaming. Like um, Empire, like Empire of Dreams, it is a hidden gem, really. If you, if, like, it's like one of those like a diamond in the rough. Like you gotta search their games. It's a pretty good game, if you ask me. Not that they did a well good, a oh, oh, well job, to, job that they've done on this game. So, yeah, so they've done a great job. Um, I will get the Dream Champ tournament at some point. Don't worry. But I've got other projects. I've got other long projects. I still got to get out of my way. That need to be finished. I believe if you follow my channel, you know what I mean. You know exactly what I mean. There are some games that I'm still not even close to finishing. Um, so you can basically see them all account like, like basically all the characters. Like you saw Musica finally singing the song that she remembered. Chipple finally um trying to be the champ, but probably failing as I saw. Um, but hey, at least, hey, at least he tried. <clears throat> you can see right here. There's Sheridan. So, and you can see what he does next. He makes anything taste good. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, he turns like a like a full like look at that. Look at that. Turns into a freaking turkey. I don't know how he did it, but I don't know. That's talent, I guess. Talent. <laughs> Um, right, um, anyway, so, yeah, it's kind of what that is, and here's, a uh, Dr. Medim getting all his patients better, yay, yay for health, <laughs> alright, so, yeah, you can see, like, quality assurance, like, like, uh, like quality assurance is basically, what, what is it, freaking really, um, they basically make it everything's in order. It's like a bug tester. 
I can bug detector. That's it. That's what I'm looking for. You can see now that he's made his patience all better. That's a great job by him. I don't recognize any. Oh, these are just guys that are localizing the game. Um. And there's Jillius, all accomplished. Everything's all better. In his kingdom of dreams. Um. So, yeah, that's basically the end of this one. Wow, there's the ending, like, screenshot. Um. What I always wanted to do is like, um, from, like the, uh, Geobob part, like, why would that little spirit need freaking, um, what you call it, um, anyway, so, steak, that's what it was. Alright, so with that, this has been Dark Kirby 14, and well, that's it, thanks for watching Colonial Empire of Dreams.